In this quick tutorial, I'd like to show you how to make a great looking Zoom recording video in Final Cut Pro 10. Before your Zoom meeting, there's a bit of setup to do. Click the Settings icon. Go to the Video tab. Check Enable HD. Use the best camera you can that is attached to your machine. Under the Recording settings, check Record a separate audio file for each participant. Then you can do some sweetening if you need to on individual audio feeds. Checking Optimize for third-party video editor will give you an MP4 file that is compatible with Final Cut Pro 10. Within Zoom, to record a meeting, you simply press Record in the on-screen controls. Be sure you have permission from everyone on the call to do so. You can also have call members record separately on their own. QuickTime Player makes this easy. Just choose New Movie Recording and then choose the camera source. Setting to maximum quality will save a ProRes file. Each user can record while the Skype meeting is running and send you the file later. When the meeting is done, Zoom will process out the audio and video files it recorded. If everyone recorded separately, you'll need to sync up first. In the Final Cut Pro 10 browser, I'll select my camera angles and the audio clips, right-click and choose Synchronize Clips. I'll leave checked Use Audio for Synchronization and disable audio components on AV clips and hit OK. Now, in the browser, I've got a sync clip with everything lined up. If you have only one Zoom recording video with everyone in it, simply make separate compound clips cropped to each member of the call. Gritty makes creating video walls super easy. I'm going to disable all but one shot at first and use it to design the grid. Then we'll copy the layout to the others once it's time for them to come in. Gritty starts in layout mode. Our clip will appear in all of the cells so we can adjust all of the parameters to taste. For an in-depth tutorial on all the things you can do with Gritty, I'll put a link in the description. I like how this is laid out, so let's turn off layout mode and enable the other shots so we can pop them into their own cells with the same styling. I'll copy our clip to the clipboard. The shortcut is Command C. Select all my other clips and do the Paste Effects command or Option Command V to get the same gritty settings on each of those. Now for each clip I simply change the location slider to fill up my grid. After a couple of tweaks to my other clips scale and position within their cells, our grid is all set. Gritty will come in handy on lots of different projects, like Skype or Zoom calls for social media, music videos, and also quickly building motion graphic elements right in Final Cut Pro 10. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.